Uh, the other is about a woman who lives in, in 1945 in an old house with her two children, and her husband was killed in the war. And the story starts with when these three servants arrive to the house and they're introduced to, to the children. And Grace explains uh, this disease the children have, which is they can't be exposed to sunlight because they would die. I like to play with metaphors in my films. And in this case, this disease, photophobia, um, helped me to tell the story about darkness, about light, and about how these children who live in this, in this dark place discover something which comes from light. Well, I started it three years ago, uh, just for fun. I, I wrote the script and I sent it to my producers and re they really liked it. What I tried to do was a film with some kind of classical essence and trying to bring back all these um, horror values from, from, from horror pictures from, from the past. Suspense is, I think, the most important thing in the film. Tom called us and we were introduced to Nicole. And the first thing that impressed me was her eyes. I th thought that in, in the past, in many films, I, I had seen her, and, but I, I couldn't see her incredible eyes, which I think is very, very important for characters in general, and especially for this character uh, who's trying to make out things. She can be very strong, and, but at the same time, she can be very fragile. And, that's one thing that she insisted on, on perform, which I think was very interesting, um, which is crystal, trying to play crystal, something that can be very strong, but that could break at any moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicole added to the character two important things. I think one was the realistic aspect. When you play, when you have this character, which is a woman who lives in a isolated house, we've seen that in, in some horror films before, and, and sometimes it tends to be a cliché and Nicole tried to play it in a very realistic way. So she does need all this background for, for the character to be inspired by it. And it, you can really feel that this woman was real. You can, you can feel her and feel for her. And the only thing was that she tried to play the fragility of the character through all these uh, tasks she has in the house, opening and closing doors, taking care of the children. Uh, you can really understand that this woman is living in a very, very troubling situation, and you feel sorry for her. I just think she's a great actress, and I think it, it really helped the, the movie, and, and, and the character really, really became stronger and, and richer with her performance. Well, in, in the case of the children, it was my first time with children, and especially in English, so I was very, very scared at the beginning. Um, Gina Jay, uh, the casting director, was working um, for, I think, almost half a year to find the girl, which was a very, very important character in the film. And uh, we, f we found the kid very, very easily, very soon. And what we thought we would need for the girl was something which was who, we, who would be able to face someone like Nicole Kidman and wouldn't be scared of her and really would take the, the risk. And I think Alekina was perfect because she's very honest and she's very strong and she's very subtle, which is good. It's not this kind of girl who is talking all the, all the time, you know. She's very, she knows what she wants and she can be very, very focused. Well, the three servants are the Cicerone in this story. They are there to make this woman understand things that she can't, she can't understand. Mrs. Mills is a character who will never know. I mean, at the beginning, she's very, very nice to the children, but then she has also a dark side, which is something that I like in characters when they, they have different sides. And uh, so we can't really find out how she is. Mr. Tatlil, he always seems uh, out-minded, miles away.
thinking his own things. And we, we chose Eric Sykes, which is a kind of uh, legend in, in England. And uh, because we thought that we could, he could give this sense, this air to the character. It was great work with him. And um, the mute girl who is played by Elaine Cassidy, uh, she's a very, very shy girl who, of course, can't speak. And um, because we will know that there was some kind of trauma, something that happened to her that uh, made her become mute. Yeah, you can find in the music uh, these two sides. Part of the music is just there to scare the audience and some other part to move their feelings. And um, I'm really especially happy with, with, uh, with all the adagios, which I use for, for Grace and, and the children. And I think that that brings up another kind of emotion for the audience, which I think is, is very important.